Good afternoon, everyone. Today, we will talk about inclusiveness of persons with disabilities in Asian countries. I am Mariana Gramea from Silai Institute. And I am CJ Caballero from Silai Institute. And I am Yumeiro Namazawa from Nihon Fukushi University Accredited High School. And I am Koki Matsui from Nihon Fukushi University Accredited High School. And I am Inano Kisada from Nihon Fukushi University Accredited High School. I am Riko Yukata from Nihon Fukushi University Accredited High School. And I am Tosuki Kawagishi from Nihon Fukushi University Accredited High School. And we are going to present the perception on the capabilities of differently abled persons, a comparative analysis. What comes in your mind when you hear the word handicap? Those are the examples of what we consider as handicaps. Handicaps are persons who have physical and mental disabilities. Oftentimes, they are the ones that they need special care. However, how do the school and society deal them with this kind of people? We have privilege to be with them in Shirai Institute, Shirai City, Philippines. Let's take a look at this video. In getting the data on the perception of the capabilities of differently abled persons in school, the following statements were given. First, PWGs can perform well in school, academically. Second, PWGs can participate in school activities. Third, PWGs should be given equal schoolwork as regular students. The respondents were asked to give their perception by checking a scale. The results revealed the following. In question one, we made a mean score of 2.82, which is interpreted as average, and the bank has a mean score of 3.30, which is also interpreted as average. In question 2, we beat the mean score of 1.54, which is interpreted as very low. The bank has, and the bank has a mean score of 1.89, which is interpreted as low. In question 3, we beat the mean score of 2.50, which is interpreted as low and the bank has a mean score of 3.87, which is also interpreted as average. Here is a comparison of the overall mean of perception of the capabilities of differently able persons in school of Philippines and Japan. Philippines got a mean of 2.27, which is interpreted as low, while Japan got a mean of 2.85, which is interpreted as arguments. In getting data or perception of the capabilities of differently abled persons in the workplace, the follow the the following statement that were given. First, PWDs can perform well as normal employees. Second, PWDs can accomplish tasks on their own. Third, 
PWDs should be given equal work growth as a normal people. In question 1, Philippines got a mean score of 2.30, which is interpreted as average. And Japan got a mean score of 2.66, which is also interpreted as average. In question 2, Philippines got the mean score of 3.42, which is interpreted as high. And Japan got the mean score of 4.05, which is also interpreted as high. In question 3, Philippines got the mean score of 1.92, which is interpreted as low. And Japan got the mean score of 2.32, which is also interpreted as low. Here is the comparison of the overall mean on perception on the capabilities of differently able persons in the workplace of Philippines and Japan. Lastly, we compare the overall mean of Philippines and Japan. The results show that Philippines got a low perception and Japan got an average perception. We, as a society, needs to be more sensitive on the needs of persons with disabilities and also treat them with the same respect as a normal person for them not to feel discriminated. It is therefore recommended that persons with disabilities should be treated as a normal people in schools, workplaces and society to avoid making them feel isolated because of their situation. Schools, workplaces, and society should also develop programs like STEM tutorials, entrepreneurial programs, and adaptive skills programs that would empower handicapped people so they may feel that they are valued and not an outcast. The special education program or spread program will give consultancy trainings on understanding disability and the roles and the roles of parents in the accreditation. This means that the program will help the parents understand the needs and the concerns of people with disabilities. The next one is the entrepreneurial program. This program aims to empower PWDs to pursue business and trade. This will greatly help boost their self-confidence and will give them a chance to function normally in a society that looks down upon them. The last one is the Adaptive Skills Program. This will train individuals with developmental disabilities on basic life and self-help skills. This will enable PWDs to do things on their own. To end this presentation, we understood how persons with disabilities feel and their struggles with discrimination. In the upcoming Paralympics 2020 in Tokyo, we hope that the discrimination will decrease and be avoided. We are hoping for a better society and inclusiveness of our persons with disabilities all over the world. Thank you for listening. Thank you very much. Remaining on the stage, please. It is judging time. Please raise your hand. Are you ready? Let's go! Countdown, please. Thank you. Any comments from the judge? Please go to your seat. With the Nihon Fukushi University, Japan, Thank you very much for your presentation. I was very impressed. You're very young and you practice so hard. <laughs> very good job. And I, I just have a question about if you have any friend that has a disability. Do you, any one of you has a friend with a disability? That's my question. Yes, um, yes we have. Yes. Uh -huh. Do you relate normally with them? Do you help them or? Or how do you interact with them? Um, so
since there are the neat tasks that we cannot do, we always assist them, especially in our school. Oh, okay. Thank you very much. Thank you.